MG Rob back with you and today we're going to make that exhaust system actually fit on the Triumph. So I'm going to start with the front pipes here. I got them all cleaned up, got a quick coat of uh, exhaust paint on them and I'm getting them positioned here so I got my lift holding them or my transmission jack holding them to where they're sitting here pretty close to the to the um, transmission mount but not touching and pretty much centered up within the um, dry shaft tunnel there where it's supposed to go through and what I'll do is I'll put a couple clamps on here and get them snug enough to where um, they don't move too easily so that they're positioned and don't twist and move around as I try to fit the next pieces. All right, so now I got some couple of clamps on here and got them snugged up enough that they won't easily move, but not so tight that I couldn't take it apart later if I need to. And I don't wanna really clamp those things down hard and have a problem taking it off if I need to at some point here. Well, like I said, there's it's pretty close here, but it's not touching. And that still there's still some flex and movement here, but not much. Now this is the part that'll be the real trick to get right. Now, if I just had to guess, I'm gonna say that in the jigs, they probably had some of these things just like not quite oriented right but I'll see what it takes so what I decided to do here I got myself some quarter inch bar stock here I'm gonna stick it up in between here and then put some tension against here to, that way these things are held right there so that the weight of these doesn't pull and move these around. So now the front two pipes are pretty much locked in position except for I can still move them side to side a little bit if I need to. That way I can twist and pull on these without them moving up and down and changing position. And then I can figure out what it's going to take to make these two pipes come out where they need to come out here all right so you would think that where a good starting point here would be to look at these and turn them so that they're sitting pretty much coming straight back where these bends are so they're not all twisted and turning in different directions that they're just straight up and down but then that puts these things coming out in quite different positions actually and leaving this one way over here where this one kind of will bolt up and not quite sit right and it's way too far away from the frame rail so obviously something is way off on these things so these pipes are obviously lefts and rights and they have this step in them here and that step obviously has to step up to go up over this plate this plate right here so that's why I've got them positioned the way I've got them positioned but boy this looks like crap well I ended up deciding that the easiest way for me to deal with this was just to cut the pipe right here rotate that a little bit and tack it back together so now it doesn't hang way down below here like it used to but now I don't know that this is going to be quite where I want it but we'll find out and if if I have to I'll cut that and adjust that now I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do with this one because this one looks really bad I'll probably end up cutting it right here and probably rotating it 
and taking almost like a slight pie out to change the angle to straighten it out slightly to bring it closer to the bracket. Well, I ended up taking this back apart and taking a small pie out of this side to get the whole muffler to go this way a little bit or the resonator. So now this sits nice and square. The muffler is sitting exactly where I want it, but it does mean modification to the hanger to make it work. On the left side pipe here, I ended up cutting it right here, turning it a little bit and taking a bit bigger wedge out of it here, or pie, than what I took out of this side. And now it's sitting pretty darn decent. And I did go ahead and cut into here, take a small pie out of here and just, just straighten that out to get it to go even with the frame rail. But now all I got to do is figure out what it's going to take to make the hangers work. And uh, weld it all up. Well, now I got the rear hangers modified to set the mufflers where I want them. And now I just got to make up the center hangers. Of course, these look a lot like what the original center hangers look like, but they're longer. So with the rear hangers in place now, it looks like the mufflers are sitting pretty even. And I like how they're sitting, except it looks like the one's just slightly further back than the other one. So I might take a little bit off of this pipe here, about a half an inch so that the pipe, so that the, they end up a little more even there. And then I'll be ready to figure out the hangers here. So I thought I had a little bit of footage of actually finishing the rear hangers and making it final fitments of it, but I couldn't find it in the files anywhere. But I do have a video of having it running after I got it installed to see what it sounds like. Unfortunately, my current microphone does not like to deal with those kinds of sounds. So the sound quality is not very good and not overly representative of the actual sound in person, but here it is. So that's the pace setter exhaust system on the TR6. Now, as you can see, they don't fit the greatest. Um, now, from what I understand, the pace setter system that is actually the old ANSA system that pace setter bought out ANSA. And the Monza system is actually a little bit different and probably better quality and probably fits better. But I haven't installed one of them to know for sure. Now, like I said, the sound quality off this crappy mic I'm using right at the moment isn't the greatest, especially for something like the exhaust system. I really do need to do some research to find a much better mic for that type of stuff. So I do think it does sound a little bit better in person than it does on the mic. And the idle quality sound is a little bit off for me personally, but I like it through the rest of the RPM range. Now it is a bit harsh and loud for some people, but I'm fine with it myself. So as always, if you like what I'm doing, like, share, subscribe, share with your friends. It's MG Rob. Later.